When it's come to shawarma, I'm really picky. Yeah? But this is a really good shawarma. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Today I'm with my friend Tim Tens. So he's visiting Malaysia and he wanted to see the city center of Kuala Lumpur. So I brought him to the Bukit Bintang and we're gonna go around and try some delicious food. I'm really excited. I'm, I'm ready. I'm super hungry actually. So I'm really ready. So let's check it out. So this is our first stop. Arabic street and the first restaurant we're going is right behind you actually. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Alkas Iraqi. It's like an Iraqi food. <laughs> nice. Wow, lots of choices. Asalaamu Alaikum. What's your name, brother? Uh, Abdullah. Abdullah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, well, everything looks good. I saw the fataya bread. I love it. So, please give us the best one you have, one one one, and also what kind of shawarmas you have? I have chicken, beef, and spicy beef. Okay, please give us one one each as well. Okay. Okay. We would love to eat here. Okay. 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 Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. have you been doing this? About 17. 17 years? Wow. And you only handle the bread or you handle everything here? No, half more bread, half more bread like this I will show you now. Oh, nice, nice. Yay. <laughs> Excellent. Precision. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect, perfect. So they make their own bread because they say no thanks to outside bread. No, <laughs> only fresh stuff here. Yes, eh? Oh, oh yeah, you can see it's nice. Next, I take good shawarma, make sandwich, put in a grill like this. Oh, one. and then you grill it in here. This is one kind of bread. Oh, also for shawarma, another kind of shawarma. Oh, yeah, you cut it open. Open this and then uh, fill it. Put inside, then grill also. Yeah, 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 I got it, I got it. Yeah, yeah. Be like sandwich. Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Oh, hot, hot. Can I have hot. a taste of the spicy one? Yes, of course. Okay. I'll have one taste. So you, you can try first. It's very hot. It's super hot. Yeah, I yeah. feel it on my fingers. Mmm. <laughs> one kind of taste. Spicy. Some spicy as well. That looks super spicy. Yeah, so it's giving us a taste test of the spicy beef as well. Let, let's try. <laughs> oh, it's actually really good. The spicy one? I'm waiting for the spices to kick in, but it's coming. I feel it coming. It's not super, super spicy, I would say, but it's perfect. Garlic sauce, it's some onion. Oh, it's a different. Um, yeah. Oh, so depending on the meat, you have make different yeah, yeah. garlic. Different veggie. Yeah, different and some beakles. Oh, Another nice. beer cuts for the. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And some beef. And tahina sauce. Yeah. Nice. And some sweet sauce. Perfect. That's it. Amazing. Thank you. Sir. And on the grill. Uh, and this one chicken shawarma. Nice. With some garlic sauce. Mm -hmm. And the pickles. Nice. Like this. And some chicken. Like this. And some sweet sauce. So this one no tahini? No, it's one without tahina. Tahina only for the beef. Nice. Yeah. And the grill. On the grill. Yeah. <laughs> That's 
They're almost as excited as we are. Yeah, even more maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and when you come here, this is your man, Mr. Abdullah. Look for him. Welcome. Welcome every day, every time, anywhere. Come over, chicken. Six. Yeah. Hello. Like a pro. Thank you so much, brother. I wasn't really super hungry when I arrived here, but because of eating all the food and smelling all the food, I got super hungry now. We're and starting with the, the, the yogurt. yogurt. This is like a salty lassi. The chicken shawarma guys with some garlic sauce. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Mm. Oh. This garlic sauce is adding really great flavor to the shawarma. And the bread is a bit sweet. Mm. So tender and fresh. Right in front of you, they will prepare it. Go to the shawarma counter. Put it on the grill and you're good to go. When it's come to shawarma, I'm really picky. Yeah? But this is a really good shawarma. So how's your first shawarma going in KL? It's one of the best I ever had on the ship. I mean, the best one was in Turkey, but this one is really close. It's like um, almost a shared first place, you know? Wow. <laughs> They have this special bread shawarma. We're trying the fatayer bread, three types. There's the spicy. This is the meat. This is the spicy one. We just finished the chicken one. And it's going really, really good. <laughs> Can't wait to dig up everything. I'm getting hungry with every time I'm eating. I'm getting Even really more. I'm getting, it's so good. Let's try the spicy one. Let's see what the food is says. Oh, good. Mm. It's not spicy like chili spicy. It's a lot of spices. Yeah. And it's really balancing everything. So don't be afraid of the redness of this. It's not like hot spicy. It's like flavorful spicy. Anybody can eat it. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have like a high threshold for the spiciness to eat this one. Anybody who can eat normal shawarma, they can try this one as well. It's really good and the bread is really, really fluffy. What do you think? I'm loving it, man. I'm loving it. I feel like uh, here in Malaysia, I'm eating too much. I know Malaysia is known for the good food. But also you have all the, all the cultures coming together. Like we're eating uh, at a, I think it's an Iraqi place. Iraqi place, yes. Run yeah. by Syrian people, like mm. eating shawarma. Mm. <laughs> it's a whole mix, you know, but it's mm. super delicious. I'm not a food blogger. I'm not a food blogger, but I seem to do a lot of food blogging here in Malaysia. He's loving it. I'm loving it. So you also come here and get some love here. <laughs> How do you call this again? Fatayer. Fatayer. Yeah, it's like a Syrian official bread. Syrian official bread. Yeah, but this is with cheese. Yeah, but they also sell it in every all the Middle East country because it's very popular. It's like a breakfast, you grab and go. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Syrian cheese flat bread. It's very simple. Oh, they have the strong cheese as well. Mm -hmm. The blue cheese, I think there is. You can even see it a little bit maybe. I think they have pine inside. Yeah. It's like a cheese pizza without the margarita sauce. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's it, that's it, exactly. Okay, next. He's a bit slow in eating, but it's yeah, okay. I'm very slow, actually. I'm, 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 I'm even rushed again because he's fast. <laughs> We're moving to the... Zatar bread. I don't really know what it is, honestly. It's like a very special spice mix from the Middle East. They love eating zaatar. They also add in many other other recipes of this. Like this, you can buy it as a spice mix already, and you can add in whatever you want to give the Arabic mix. Cheers. Cheers. Here. Looks special. Mm. It smells very strong. Actually. Very mm. strong spice smell. This is a very strong flavor, but really good. Oh, yeah. Very appetizing. I mean, it's not bad, but. Not my favorite of all everything we're eating right now. I think it's, it's very strong flavor, so not people who are not very familiar with this, they may not enjoy it, but I love Zata. Yeah, yeah. Shisto. Which meat is that? Chicken? Shisto. Oh, wow. This might be my next favorite. Yeah. He likes the Shisto. Let's give it a bite. Mmm. Wow. I think this is the best fatayer yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mmm. I think even better than the cheese one. Mm. Wow. The chicken is surprisingly juicy. It's not dry at all. And also the spice level is amazing, you know, like you don't have to worry about like being too spicy or overpowering. No, it's just perfect. The only strong thing was the zatar bread. So if you're not with 
familiar with that. It's, it's good yeah. to try, but maybe you're not gonna like it's it. It's a different taste, yeah. A bit special. This is my favorite fataya here yet. Shisto. He was worried about that we are ordering too much. He didn't know me well. <laughs> He's just figuring it out now. I do feel like this might be my only meal of the day today. <laughs> because it's a lot still. I'm gonna make him a food vlogger by the end of this video. <laughs> well, team is full already. So I have to up my game and finish everything. So now we're trying the the meat without the spices. The best thing is they have different toppings for each shawarma. Like they were putting different sauces, they were adding different veggies and pickles, but that was great. Good. Mm. You need to take at least one bite. <laughs> Maybe I should. Is that good? Because it has parsley in it. Yeah. So, so I was almost giving up uh, for the last part, but Malik is trying to convince me. It is good. It is and, really good. Uh, I might have to go for at least one bite. I'll just go for a little bit of yogurt first. This one they added onions and parsley. Totally different dimension of four food. Actually, yeah, you're right. The toppings make it very different. Mm. Wow. I don't know. I'm so bad at describing food, but all I can say is really good. Like. That's all you need to know guys, like it is really good. So just wanna say whenever you're visiting this Arabic place or any Arabic place, go hungry so you can try a lot of food. Yeah. Because they really mean business. Now we will see you at the next place. Yes, let's go. We really glad we found the place because food was fantastic and now we're going to the Halab KL. It's also like a Arabic fine dine place. And we're going there for tea because they have really, really good fee. I really love the food there as well, but I mostly go there for the tea. He really wanted to enjoy some authentic Arabic tea, so that's what we're gonna go and get it. Yeah, Malik uh, made a, a joke, but I think he's serious. I like, am serious. <laughs> come in to see our giant indoor slides. Don't be shy. Yeah, so we are uh, not shy. That's the one thing I we just are had not. A full meal and now on the slide, I don't know if that's a good idea. But no, we're just gonna uh, go and have a look. Can we do a slide, I guess. Let's see how it works. Hmm. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We'd love to, to sign you. Say, please don't be shy. Come inside and see your giant slide. So that's what we are here for. We want to see your giant how, how slide. Work? And is it for adults only, or uh, for kids only, or? Okay, Adults also? Yeah, adult oh. pocket also can. Oh, okay. We have to use, we have to try? Yes, oh, yeah. okay. we would so love to try. Ask others, we will assist you. Add Get security. <laughs> your adventure starts here, slide into your big dreams. Yes. That sounds uh, very promising, actually. Let's see. Oh, it's here. Oh, okay, <laughs> it starts here. Well, that's, that's a good idea, but let's, let's try, let's try. Okay, so... You pass. Okay. Should I leave my legs up? Leave your legs up. Okay, one, two, three, go! <laughs> After a big meal, it's good to slide down with. <laughs> okay, that was fun. <laughs> that was kind of random. Yeah, very random, <laughs> but good. As I said, it's good to be kids sometime. Yeah. Come yeah. as a guest and leave as one who could change the world. Wow. Thank you so much, brother. Thanks for letting us try it. Okay. Thank you. Thank Loved you it. Okay. Lovely people, man. Hotel Moff, it's called. Moff, yes. M O V. And you need to keep moving. Keep moving, yes. That's what we so that was quick. It totally took us one ninety second to go in, take the slide, come out. That's it. Boom. Now we're up to the next stop to, <laughs> to have some tea in a very fancy fine dine. You know, so this is all. This is Kuala Lumpur. You don't know what you're gonna get. When I wake up today, I have no idea that I'm gonna go to a slide. <laughs> I knew we're gonna get some good food, but. They did the renovation recently and now it's looking even more fancy. That's why they make the foam by going so high. Yes. They like foam on top. And this sister's precision is really, really good. Wow, looks really good. Thank, Thank you so much, sister. This reminds me of India, you know? Mm. This kind of stuff. Wow, it's super good, but maybe out of my fingers. <laughs> oh, it's the clove. I, I taste the clove. Cloves and also the cardamom. They put yeah, cardamom. Cardamom and yeah. clove is the main yeah. taste, mostly. And, oh, it's really good. Mm. Wow. 
Yes, very strong cardamom flavor. Very soothing. I like it. Yeah, after the heavy food. It's perfect after a savory, heavy meal. Some sweet chai or tea. It's good. Yes. Try the Adani tea. Mm. Mm. I actually love this one. This is perfect. After the heavy Middle Eastern food, a proper milk tea is a must. Really decent, very nice place. The music is a bit off, but everything else is really good. It's like a Latino bar or something. Like yeah. Yeah. They need to fire the guy who select this music. Fire the DJ. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just had the tea. Loved it. What was your expression? Oh, I loved it as well. It reminded me of India. Like the masala chai in India, it was exactly that. Even better. Yeah. Very aromatic. Very flavorful. Straight up cardamom flavor. Really amazing. And we're going for the ice cream. All the kids love to try that game and everything and I'm glad I brought my own kid. He wanted yeah, to we went already on the slide, now I want my ice cream. <laughs> It was worth it. Yeah, I'm feeling like a kid. Yeah, let's give it a try. So I have chocolate and strawberry. I'm not the kind of guy that licks ice creams. I just bite them. But it feels good. It feels good. Very refreshing on a hot day here in KL. Oh wow. It's approved. I mean, I had to work hard for this ice cream. And it's worth it. Ten ringgit, it's like uh, two dollars, two euros. Worth it, worth it. So yeah guys, that's the Arabic side of Kuala Lumpur. Really enjoyed it start to finish. How about you? Yeah, it was really nice. Like Kuala Lumpur has so many cultures coming together here and we uh, experienced the Arabian side of Kuala Lumpur and the, the good food of the Middle East. So I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I really enjoyed it as well. Please go check out his channel. He's a travel vlog. He go around the world. I will put his channel in the description as well. So go and show some love and make him reach his first million. He's very close to it. Yeah, yeah, do that, do that. No, right now, right now. <laughs> Please go and do the regular YouTube stuff. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys very soon with another great video. Take care. Pour my own tea. Let's see how that goes. So I don't know if I need to shake it a little bit or something. <laughs> it's good. But I'll just make some space. She starts here. Like this. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Yes. Oh, wait, wait, not that bad. Well, it's not exactly how it's supposed to be, but I think it's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. Yeah, Look for the, the foam. The foam is, hers was like a little bit over the top. Mine is like here, but I'm, I'm kind of happy with the result though. Wow, look at that. But you have done that before, no? Oh, it's almost perfect. It, it's actually perfect. Look at this. Yeah, okay, you won, you won. Yes, that's how you pour. 